Howdy. Uh, with this video, I'm going to go over the schedule real quickly, then go over uh, the second essay so you understand what I'm looking for. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, September 21st. Uh, I'm actually at Dobbins Bennett High School. I do a dual enrollment class out here. Um, I also do one over at Selwyn Central. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I'm, I'm not This semester, I'm not teaching on any Northeast State campus. I do uh, the dual enrollment classes, and I do this online class. So it's kind of an interesting semester. Um, but for tonight, uh, that's the final version of essay number one to do. Uh, like I said in my email, I'm happy if I get that by Saturday at midnight. Uh, I'd rather have a, you know, a much better, uh, more refined essay on Saturday than a rushed one tonight. Uh, this is the final verse, and this is what I'm grading. So I want to make sure you turn in what you want me to grade. Uh, for Monday, you're gonna, we're going to start with the MLA medical research essay. I'm going to go over that here in a second. And we're going to be focused on that for the next couple of weeks. Um, I am going to offer conferences in two weeks. Those are going to be optional. I know some of you might be on the other side of Mountain City, and I don't want to make an hour and a half drive to talk to, to me for 15 minutes. Um, but if you feel like you're struggling in the class, this is a good time for us to kind of, you know, come talk to each other and uh, make sure we're all on the same page. Um, but again, if you're, these are going to be optional. Don't, don't feel like they're required. Um, eventually, I'm going to give you that graded self-regulated learner essay back. You're going to revise that one more final time and post that in journal portfolio. Uh, some of you already put like your drafts up there. I don't really want the drafts and the peer reviews up on journal portfolio. Uh, basically, we should just have the uh, reflections and the final versions of your essay after I grade them and you revise them. Um, if you want to put more stuff up there, that's fine, but you're going to start running out of room pretty quick, so be careful there. Um, and hopefully we'll get that MLA medical research essay in by uh, October 12th, and we'll have two more to do after that. Excitement never stops. <laughs> uh, but to go over the essay real quickly, um, you know, we're at the medic, MLA Medical Research Essay. I'm going to do a, uh, a couple of more videos. Uh, one going over how to access the Northeast State data, Databases in Questia, which is a MindTap, which is part of your textbook bundle. Uh, I want to go over uh, some MLA, MLA components as well and, and more videos with the Works Cited page and also quoting, summarizing, and paraphrasing. Some of you, this may be kind of old hat. You're kind of like, well, I've just had this in the last year. Some of you... I've indicated it's been a while since high school, and uh, maybe you don't have these, you're not coming in with these skills, which is fine, if I got this where I want. All right, for the second essay, uh, you're going to tell someone's story, and you're going to put research about a medical topic into that story. Um, so if you say, you know, I want to do breast cancer as a topic, I'm, I'm going to ask you, well, whose breast cancer are you going to talk about? Um, you can't, I just don't want to a dry, dull paper about uh, some medical topic. I'm a humanities teacher. I want to hear someone's story, right? <clears throat> so you're going to write a 1,200-word uh, narrative research essay. Again, this isn't much longer than that last essay, and you're putting this research in, into it. Uh, generally, word count's not a problem for people here. On the medical topic of your choice, uh, again, you're going to talk about you or someone you know. Uh, I've also had some done on, on, on animals. I uh, had a really good one on feline leukemia where this person talked about her cat and what the poor kitty cat went through. Um, but it, was a pretty, it was actually a pretty good essay. Um, uh, keep in mind, we're going to uh, trade these out with peer reviews, and you're going to post these in journal portfolio. Make sure you ask this per person permission to use them <laughs> in the essay. Um, you know, if you want to talk about your Uncle Bill's alcoholism, he may not want that broadcast to the world on journal por of journal portfolio, right? Same thing if you uh, want to write, write about uh, one of your kids. Um, make sure that's something you don't mind sharing with uh, the world out there. But at least about 50% of this essay should be the story, and about 50% or maybe even less than 50% should be uh, the research you're putting in there. Uh, so everybody's essay is going to start out you know, introducing the person and what happened there. Um, get away from that three-point thesis idea. We're going to go beyond the five-paragraph format. Well, we kind of started that way so we could kind of see where everybody's starting at, uh, but we want to move beyond that to more college-level uh, organization and work. I have to have at least three good sources. I'm going to show you in subsequent video how to access some of these. You should be avoiding Wikipedia. Sorry about my nose. Um, generally, you know, there's nothing really wrong with Wikipedia, but it's not generally a peer-reviewed 
authoritative source. Um, Gonna have to, I want you to include at least two images. It could be an image of the person you're talking about. It can be an image of the problem. Uh, if you're gonna talk about an ACL tear, uh, it's a lot easier to show a picture of a knee and talk about that picture than it is to sit there and, and five paragraphs tell me how a knee works, right? Uh, use images to your advantage. Uh, you're gonna have to have a long quote, short quote, summary and paraphrase. I'll talk about those uh, in, an, in another video. You have to have all those fun punctuation. Uh, again, there's a punctuation help sheet uh, there in D2L. Uh, want a little figure of language? You'll probably do that without thinking, actually. So don't don't fret over that too much. Uh, avoid you in this essay. You're not telling me uh, how I can uh, how I can avoid something or do something because I wasn't there. You're talking about someone you know or yourself and telling that story. Uh, and don't use it in this essay. Um, that's just kind of a quick and dirty way to get you to write better sentences. Um, but again. Uh, this doesn't have to be a, a life life threatening disease. Uh, the, the sample essay we're going to look at later on uh, it's about Alzheimer's, which is you know it, there's no cure for that. It's, it's generally never a good outcome. But I've had good ones on peanut allergies and uh, staph infections, and uh, in, you know it doesn't have to be uh, life threatening. It doesn't have to be cancer or something like that. Um, when your children suffers from something like ADHD, that might be an interesting topic to talk about, again, as long as you're comfortable putting that out there on the internet. Um, and for uh, some people, this can be, a, you know, finding the right topic can be a struggle because if you're happy and healthy and have been that way all your life, you know, it's like, what am I gonna write about? But everybody's had to go through something, the flu, uh, chicken pox, well, they have vaccines for that now, but um, the fact that you were born means your mother went through a medical procedure, right? The medical process of birth. So uh, kind of you might have to go through a couple of topics, find the one you want to work with. Again, you want to make sure the other person wants to talk about it if you're going to talk about somebody else. Um, try not to make it somebody who's been dead for a long time because then you're relying on secondhand information for most of your essays, especially if you were young when the person died. So there's a lot to think about. Um, and you guys find that's true with the, a lot of these essays, so, uh, the remaining essays. Uh, a lot of the thing is gonna be upfront where you're thinking about a topic, narrowing it down, making sure uh, you're doing what you wanna do. Uh, but that's basically the essay. Uh, again, don't be, if you have to go through a couple of topics, that's pretty normal. Uh, especially if you like email your topic again on that Monday um, and I say like, well, I don't know about this one, it's gonna be your first book. Um, or I might start, I keep asking you to narrow things down, narrow it down, narrow it down. Um, but that's kind of the introduction to the essay. Uh, hopefully it's kind of one you're interested in. You pick somebody you're interested in and, and develop the essay there. Uh, if you're writing about somebody else, you may be the only person actually writing this stuff down, right? Um, but I'm gonna try and get off here. There we go. Um, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.